first step is to uh, download the app. And I have two ways. I can scan it with my phone or search and download. So right now I'm going to scan it with this to get the app and download it. Let's see. Okay. There we go. And there. Now it's downloading the app. And there it is right there. And now I want to download the free app right here. I click on that and it will start. And there is the app I want. And it says to get. I need to click that. And confirm this, I double click. It's telling me that. And now it's downloading. Uh, first thing you're gonna have to do is sign up. Right here are the instructions one through 2.4 uh, for setting up uh, the app and linking everything to the camera is uh, the app. Okay, and now I push up. Okay, when you open the app up, you have two options. Log in right here or sign up. Uh, we have not uh, signed up, so that's the first thing you got to do is click the sign up. Do not click log in. It is not going to work for you because you're not signed up yet. So I click that, and now you're going to get the sign up uh, form. It's enter email, enter password, and you can actually see right here by clicking on that will show you uh, what is displayed instead of just the little stars. Then you have to confirm it. And down here is uh, you have to put these number and letters in. That's 3G4U right into that place right there. And uh, when you do that, uh, you will be ready to sign up. Uh, if it rejects it, you'll get some red there and you have to do it again. But when you have all of this filled out, you'll go to sign up and then you'll get another message and I'll show you what that is, uh, saying that all is clear, but you have an email uh, sent to you that you need to retrieve and go to the next step of uh, uh, activating your account. Once you've successfully uh, signed up and your information is all correct, you'll get this message. An activation link has been sent to your email with a check mark. And now you're going to go to your email and retrieve that uh, uh, email and follow the instructions. Now, this is a non-reply email, action required to activate your YI uh, lot uh, account. So I got to click on this and open it up, and I will, and, and look at the instructions. In the email, they're going to instruct you to click a link, and uh, that link is going to create this. So you have created your account now. And anytime you, in the future, you're required to log in, <clears throat> that's the uh, email username you're going to use and the password that you just put in. So make sure you remember that password and the uh, email address you signed up for. Okay, we've uh, completed uh, step number one. We've got our... Um, our app downloaded and we have signed up and uh, got our account activated. Now we move to step 2.1 and it says add camera, click and in quotes, tap here to add in quotes. Where I had the check mark over here, there was an arrow, I hit it and now I'm going to finish this part, I didn't realize I have not logged in to the app. So now, using the email address and the password that I just activated, 
I'm going to sign in right here with my email and password and then I'm going to hit log in. This is the screen I, I receive when I log in using my just created uh, login information. And right here it says to tap here to add. It says tap here to add your camera right there or there's a plus up there. I'm going to click this. It says uh, the next step, 2.2, .2, choose mode Wi-Fi connection. They want you, in quotes, Wi-Fi connection is what they want you to choose. It did not instruct us to put the camera in at this point. I'm going to go ahead and do next. I did not hear a tone, so I'm going to go ahead and do next. Please tick, I heard the beep. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and click it and then do next. Uh, allow the YI lot to use your location. Uh, I'm going to put allow while using app. And then it says connect to Wi-Fi. Okay, uh, it's right here is my Wi-Fi. I've got to click it and let's see what we got. Okay, I have to find my Wi-Fi and right here we've got to go to Wi-Fi settings. Uh, let's see right here okay there's my Wi-Fi I'm going to click on it and join okay and I joined uh, okay we are in and now I just keep on going back and now, I just kept backing up. Did you see that? And now, I'm back on my, uh, uh, my app. And now, it's entered my uh, Wi-Fi uh, router in there. Now, I have to put, uh, I thought it put the password in, but now, I've got to sign in with the password of my home router. So this would be something you would do, and I'm not going to do it in front of you. What it's showing me is I have to put this in front of the camera lens of the camera. So really, the camera needs to be plugged in, and it did not tell me to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and screw it in now, up here. Okay, so uh, I need to have the uh, camera, uh, this, pointed at the camera here. As soon as the camera uh, gets fired up, there, I heard the little beeps. And now I'm going to have to take my phone and put it up in front of there. So I'm going to take this out. Let's see. Okay, and what I do is like this. I put this up here and I move it back and forth. Hold it back and keep moving. There, let's see. I don't think it did it yet. QR code scan is successful. There, did you hear that? It found it. The camera is connecting, and now I don't want to update my password. It's going to stay just the way it is. And uh, now, uh, let's see, I'm going to go. We're already done with that. Are you sure you want to? No, we do not. Cancel. Okay, so I heard the waiting tone. You did hear that she was connected. And now it's going into pairing mode.
So they were wrong in this that they didn't power it up to there. It needs to be plugged in and powered up at the very beginning. So right now it's adding the camera and we'll wait for this to finish um, telling us what it's it's giving some information here about, uh, okay, there's a uh, camera binding fail. Please reset the camera after checking the following problems. And there's a list of problems. Okay, reset the camera. Please reset the camera. Reset is successful. Okay. Wait 20 seconds until you hear a two-tone uh, sequence. There, we heard it. So I click this and then do next. Now I've got to scan it again. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to scan it. And you've got to move it around. QR code scan is successful. Ah, okay. So now uh, I can go back. Whoop, cancel. Okay. So I heard to Wi-Fi. there, and now it's going to go through the process again to connect or add the camera. Wi-Fi password Wi-Fi password. My password was not correct. Okay. QR code scan is successful. Okay, now I put it in here. I had forgotten uh, my password. To Wi-Fi. It said connected to Wi-Fi. So you have to be careful and get your password in correctly. Uh, I left off two numbers, and uh, so that's why I was having trouble. And so Wi -Fi now... Wi-Fi is connected. Okay, so we can go out of here. Uh, wait, let's see. I'm going to wait until this completely finishes. It's already told me it's connected, so I should be able to go over and OK, and then I should go to the camera. These, and it goes closed, open, auto. I'm gonna go open, whoop, there. There's the light. Now, if I turn it off, I can close it. And it's off, and I can set it to auto where it'll come on when it needs, uh, like at night or something. But I think I want to control that light. I don't want it coming on at the wrong time. Okay, um, I'm not sure about this. Oh, share. I took a picture of, uh, that was a picture. And there I could share that. So uh, if you catch a burglar or something or other, you can hit that. And let's see if I click it, I can, uh, I can see it there. And then you can share it right here. Or I can delete it and uh, delete. Okay. And uh, the video is going to be here. Here's one video that I did just a little bit ago. And there I am working. So you see... This is cool. And I can uh, click on it big. And there we go. All right, that's the video that I recorded. And I can pause it. And then I can go back by pushing this. And I could delete it, but I'm not. I'm just going to go back. And here's how you select under album. You can select your video and pictures. 
and I'm back to live picture right there. Perfect. Okay, and you can select your uh, FHD, in other words, full high definition right there is, is the strongest, and HD is a lower setting, but when you go to the higher setting, you're going to use more memory uh, for your videos, but they'll be sharper and clearer. So I'm going to go HD. That's fine with me. So that's your control activity. Uh, you can go back and look at things uh, on this. Uh, that's the SD card. You can review video. But if you have a cloud, everything is stored in the cloud and you can retrieve it when you want to. Folks, this is something that all you need is the basics of what I've shown you of how to download the app, connect your app to your Wi-Fi, connect your phone to, uh, to the app, uh, and you're set to go to watch video and uh, just have fun uh, watching your house while you're away. So uh, let's see, I go to my device right there. And let's see, I don't see how to name the camera. Um, the first time I did it, it gave me a chance to, uh, to name it. And I named it Bulb. But here it's going to be cameras. Let's see. Yep, that's about it. That is it. Click on it, and you've got it. Okay, folks. Uh... I hope this has helped uh, uh, you to understand how to connect your, uh, your new light bulb camera with pan and tilt uh, to the app and uh, enjoy operating it. Okay, thanks for watching.